In this video, we're talking about how backpackers do the dishes. Are you excited yet? Stick around. The other day I was on a web forum and a question came up on how backpackers do their dishes. And while there are a lot of different options out there on how to pursue this, there's really no one right answer. However, I thought I would share with you the way I like to do it. And that way, a uh, first timer out there might learn something that helped me and I can pass that along. But before we begin, uh, have you considered maybe leaving a like or a comment or maybe even subscribing? I have prepared for you a handy instructional video on how to do just that. You lied to me! Stick around and I'll show you a little video on how I do this. So let's say that you're making a meal. In this case, I'm just preparing porridge oats. This video is not about making a meal, so I will just breeze right through and say that I'm loosely following the instructions on the packet as usual. A few moments later. After eating, I now have a dirty pot to contend with. What I'm doing is putting cold, purified water in the pot and scrubbing. Now if you need to ask, I do have a special tool for scrubbing pots. It's called a Mark I right hand, and I keep it very clean. Scrubbing is completed, and now I'm left over with some water. I could very easily throw this out into a sump pit, and if I were to do so, I would be at least 200 feet from a source of water, and at least 100 feet from the trail. But really, that's a waste of water that I've taken the time and energy to purify, not to mention a, a few extra calories of food stuck to the insides of that pot. So instead, I repurpose it. I like to bring it to a boil to help pasteurize it. Once a boil is achieved, it's important that you're facing the wrong direction on your stove and accidentally turn it up instead of off, causing a mild overboil like a dingus. Dingus. Boil achieved, I add some instant coffee to it. You don't have to do coffee. You can also make hot cocoa, hot tea, hot lemonade, or just drink the hot water. You do you. Lovely beverage consumed, rinse the pot with some more purified water, and drink that as well. Waste nothing. I don't worry too much about soap or water, because the next time I'm using this pot, I'll just be boiling water in it again, which will pasteurize it. It won't really be until I get home that I'll thoroughly wash and sterilize the pot. I'll just keep repeating this process and making sure there's no visible food anywhere on it and that I'm boiling water in it every time I use it. Credit where credit is due. That isn't an idea unique to me. In fact, many other backpackers use that same method, and I got the idea from an issue of Backpacker Magazine years ago. Yes, I, I read Backpacker Magazine. If you find a method that works for you and is compliant with Leave No Trace, that's 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 Leela. I tried to get her in the frame earlier and she chickened out. Just so you know. Whatever the case, as long as you're leaving no trace and respecting the wilderness, if you found a system that works for you, you really can't go wrong. Get out there, enjoy yourself, and have a good trip. Thank you for tuning in.